Hi there guys, it's Pip here and first of all congratulations on coming through to this email. Most people will never ever come through this far and the other half who do will never actually take time to read what's in the email or watch this video so first of all congratulations. So today I actually want to talk to you about you living your life and the reason I want to talk to you about this in this video is because the problem is in the world we are living today is that most people will never ever live to their highest potential. Now what do I mean by that? People I think and it is the thought process of many that we come to this planet in order to do a certain thing. Everybody has different skills, everybody has different talents. Um, you might have some yourself, you might have an area that you excel in already. You might be like I was before I started my business journey where I didn't know my passions and quite frankly I didn't know my true skills. So when I talk about living your full life, I want to illustrate to you something that I was thinking of the other day. Now I don't know if you've had many people pass away in your life, I certainly have. Um, and although it's not a very pleasant topic to speak about, when you have people pass away, quite often it illustrates to you the importance of living your life. Um, maybe, you know, you remember a certain movie that really touched your heart and made you really want to go out there and do more with your life and be your better self. It might have been something like a Spider-Man movie even. Um, we all had those kind of heroes that we looked to. So just to share with you a quick story, when I was 24 years old, um, my dad passed away. Now, my dad was 60 years old. He didn't reach that golden age of retirement that so many people look forward to. And really, it made me think a lot about his life and also about my own. You see, my dad was very, very talented. Um, he was quite um, a wise person, I believe. And he had lots of, of kindness within him and a lot of good to give. But when he passed away, he was living in a job um, that wasn't really fulfilling his true potential. It definitely wasn't making the most of his natural abilities and his persona. And he didn't die in a place where he was happy in life. And he never reached that age that I think he assumed he would get to where he could enjoy all the things um, he wanted to. Now, I don't wish to scare you in that, of course. Um, but just to illustrate that point to you, and I made a promise, you see, about a year after my father passed away, where I decided that I was not going to die from an unlived life. Now, just to make you aware, um, as I say, you, you probably have had people pass away. Um, I'm not going to, you know, talk to you too much about that. We've all had our own experiences. Um, but it certainly, as I say, made me think. And you might be coming to realise as you look around your life and you look at kind of the people just going by in your life that actually the vast majority of people are not truly um, going towards that place where they are truly fulfilled or they are truly putting all their talents and you know their natural personality into something that they find uh, amazing and um, is making them feel wonderful like they are contributing towards something like their life is going somewhere most people in fact are getting up and they are doing the same thing day in day out um, they're doing a good job of it but it's not actually something that's rewarding them and um, to the greatest and highest percentage that it could so after I started my business which was about four months after I made that promise to myself um, really what was that like and, and why did I join um, well as I say I made that promise to myself now the place I was in at the time was I was a cleaner I worked four days a week and I had been there for three years and for two years I had asked for um, some kind of pathway in my career I wanted to grow I was getting to the point where yeah I'd grown into my job and I was beginning to get to the other side of it so I was beginning to outgrow my job in fact and I really believed that I could do more I wanted to do more with my life I'd stumbled across personal development um, I had started another business in fact it was um, a, a company called Cleanies basically they work a bit like Avon catalogs if you're in the UK so you basically go around and deliver catalogs door to door hope people will uh, fill in and, and want a product and then you collect them back 
um, but it wasn't as plain sailing as I thought. There was a lot of certainly back office work. It wasn't as easy, in fact, to get the magazines back as I thought I had. Um, you often had to go around up to four times to get um, the greatest quantity of magazines back. Obviously, you'd never get them all back. And um, quite frankly, only a couple of people, if you were lucky, would order. Um, now, the idea was hopefully over time you would build that up. Um, it does take time in any business, but with a already manual job I found that exhausting and you know walking around and delivering magazines wasn't exactly developing me um, and I really wanted to do something more and I had stumbled across personal development which was the golden gem of that. So because of that personal development, because of listening to people you might have stumbled across like Les Brown, like Tony Robbins, um, maybe you've even listened to some somebody that's um, maybe a bit more familiar to you, maybe you've listened to uh, something on YouTube by say Richard Branson um, and they really inspired me because these people did not have university degrees which I thought I had to have to go further, I thought that was my choice, I thought it was either live a low paid job for the rest of my life or go back to university and I'd already been to university once and quite frankly at the time it really wasn't for me and I didn't actually have the stamina or even the passion to go back and do that. I didn't actually want to get into £9,000 of debt per year um, doing something that maybe I got out of at the end of three years ago. Actually this isn't what I want to do. I wanted to be absolutely clear first of all. So it was really catch 22. I needed to go to uni to find my passion but I didn't want to go to university without that and get into a lot of debt and come out with nothing. So I felt really quite stuck and that's the reason I started my first business and the reason I'm, I'm sharing this point with you now is that that was really where I was and that was my life before I came to um, Six Figure Mentors, before I joined this amazing community of people. And the thing that was really great about that for me is because not knowing my passion, it gave me time and the tools and the resources to do that. I've come across so many people and I have read so many different books. Um, you know, I've come across things like The Motivation Manifesto by Brendan Bouchard, um, Think You Can Grow Rich in Napoleon Hill, um, with their Success Habits by Dean Graciosi, and people you may have not even heard of yet. And the, the thing that this business gave me the most of was, number one, massive, massive confidence. There is no way a couple of years ago I could shoot a video like this. I wouldn't have come across the books I've just talked about. I wouldn't have had the awareness and insights that I've had. And nowadays, quite frankly, I am in a different job. Um, I did quit my job. I decided to try different jobs. I did want to find my passion and that became my goal. And really at the end of this year, when I have found uh, a job that I like better, I went back to my mentor and he, he said to me, well, you've come to a point where really there's a choice for you and you can choose to go on with your business or you can choose to settle. And I want you to think about seriously what you want to do and I want to put that question to you as well. Because going ahead and doing something that other people are not doing is scary. It's unusual, it's different, people are not going to understand you. When I joined my business, um, and even to be honest with you to this day, my family are not exactly behind me going, oh wow you started a business, how wonderful is that, you know it must have taken a lot of, of guts to decide that you're not going to you know, die from an unlived life, well done you for going ahead and powering on. It's really not like that in my life and hopefully you will have um, a lot more support than I did. Um, I actually get my support off my mentor um, and my business community, as I said there are actually I would say probably thousands of us. Um, I haven't met them all, but um, there's people from so many different countries. Uh, my mentor, for example, is Hungarian. Um, he has a webinar he does every Tuesday to help us keep going in our business and answer any of our questions and problems. We all support each other. Um, and within that, there's people from the UK. Um, there's a lady um, from, um, you know, from Germany. Um, there's a lady from America who is you know, targeting the, the bicycle industry and because that's her passion, that's what she's found to be something that makes her feel fulfilled in life and really it is hard and I just want to encourage you because quite frankly when I started business was something that people in suits did. I did not associate myself with business. I didn't consider myself to have any skills whatsoever. 
Um, being a cleaner is very different from somebody who is able to go ahead in business and another reason that I honestly joined was because I'd always been in a low earner in my life um, no matter what job I worked in, I worked really hard and it soon became apparent to me that actually people were going to take the Michael out of that and um, you know I didn't want a job with a lot of responsibility because I looked to people who had got that and I didn't enjoy the stress factor that seemed to come with that um, but at the same time I didn't want to become a low earner for the rest of my life because um, living where I am I live with one of my siblings and I know there will be a point in my life where um, my parent who's left my mum is no longer able to support us uh, something might happen to her I have to be realistic about that um, you know we are, are growing up at this point or my brother want my sorry my brother might want to um, go out and stretch out on his own and at that point I need to have that independence to be able to support myself you know nobody is coming and that is uh, something that became very clear to me when my dad died um, my dad was probably not the um, best role model in the world let's just say unfortunately um, because he didn't use the gifts and talents he had he didn't um, unfortunately um, know the path to, to develop those talents and to lead his kids by example and really as I say I just didn't want to do that I didn't want to die from a life where I wasn't fulfilled um, I didn't want to trade my life for the next 30 or 40 years doing a job that I did enjoy but I wasn't getting paid for either um, because at the end of the day the question I was asking myself was whose dream am I building and there wasn't an answer and that was a problem to me because the answer certainly didn't come back as yes I'm building my own dream it came to be a point where I realised I was contributing to our company to something that was I felt at that point supporting other people supporting uh, the customers um, but not supporting the employees and in certainly not giving me a pathway and at that point as I say I decided that word really was not enough and um, I deserve better than that so as I say this is a video which might hopefully wake you up to um, what is available to you um, it's not an easy path, I'm not going to lie, but um, it's given me so many things that I wouldn't have otherwise had. Um, it's given me the support to go on without my family's approval. Um, it's given me courage to develop myself. I feel like, although there is times when I do struggle because I'm not tech savvy and I don't have a business background or even I'm not even you know as I say that great at finances yet I will be because of the development that this company is giving me you know it really will give me a future and that's something that otherwise I really honestly can say I didn't have I would have always been relying on something else whether that was my mom whether that was my brothers just even maybe to have a decent roof over my head or have that connection or that life that I wanted um, and I really want to bring that home to you because that's something that my business has given me it's not about necessarily the money although you know that is wonderful I'm not actually financially minded I just need enough you know, to get by and not feel like I have to worry about money and um, it was the other things that I wanted I wanted the number one thing I wanted was uh, confidence and it's definitely given me that uh, and it's given me um, definitely the push to take a chance on myself as I said this this year I've tried so many different jobs for an introverted person to suggest leaving your job a couple of years ago I wouldn't have had the courage to do that by any means and I think that it's really helping me to make the mistakes I need to make in order to make my life better and it's given me definitely the support and the mentorship as I say it's not easy um, but if you're wondering if it's worthwhile as somebody who's still in the middle of it, somebody who's still going through um, the modules, for somebody who's still um, struggling to find, you know, the ultimate thing, I would say yes, it is definitely helped me find my passion. My passion is personal development, and I want to share that with so many people who are struggling and don't know why that is, don't know where to turn, don't know who to ask, which was exactly the situation that I was in. So I hope that's been really helpful for you. 
um, just to give you an insight and hopefully uh, you do feel like your life is worth it, you do feel like business will give you a chance number one to find your passion and then number two to act upon it and build something around that so that you can live a life that actually means something um, and hope that you're just getting so much value out of these emails and, and these videos. Um, if there's anything that I can help you with, honestly, um, as I say, visit pipweekly.com and that's my website. Um, get in touch with me, just hit reply to this email even. Um, I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Um, hopefully being a bit further down the journey will be able, mean that I am able to help you just that little bit more. And if I don't know the answer, do you know what? I'll go out into the community and I'll ask somebody because there are people out there who are going to know the answer for you. So that's all from me and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.